we're here today to honor three outstanding employers who have shown a commitment to hiring people with disabilities and educating other employers about the many positive benefits of doing so. I have a little note here, so I, I say that we're here today for the first annual Employment Awareness Celebration honoring local employers in Lakeland. Since it's the first annual, I know there'll be a second and a third and a fourth. <laughs> and what I expect to see in the upcoming years is even more employers participating in the great work that we do, not just locally, but across the state. I am very, very proud to live in a state and to serve a state that values every citizen that sees the ability of everybody to be to, to earn a living if they choose, to get out and can be, become part of their communities. And the work that we do and that you do throughout the throughout vocational rehab, all across the state, all the different organizations who are involved in that, you enhance and enrich the lives of so many Floridians, not just your clients, but their families. It's great to be here today. I cannot overstate the importance of what you all are doing to help our, those with disabilities, whether you be a provider or a funder. I guess the focus on the importance of you is also accentuated by the fact you've got three additional commissioners here today. We're here to say we support you too. As an HR professional, I have seen the bias in our workplace about the disabled. There's a natural human inclination to say he or she doesn't look like me, so I'm not sure that I can really work with this person. And we have to train our employers uh, that they have to know about reasonable accommodation and that the job description is the only thing that can be used to judge whether a person is hired or not. If that job description does not require uh, a certain skill or a physical ability, you cannot uh, not hire them. Employers have to understand that. That's not being altruistic, that's the law. And so that is a common uh, challenge for those of us in the human resources profession. Thank you for all that you do. I'm proud to be in front of this group. And then a couple of weeks ago, the City Commission uh, supported the American Disabilities Act anniversary. And they put us in wheelchairs out in our parking lot and said, get to the third floor chamber humbling experience because when you think you push one way you end up against a wall or you're trying to back up and you can't see behind you and you're cranking your body around so you don't, you don't run into the elevator and that was as a human just for me a humbling experience to realize what folks go through every day and not me not realizing it so what that reminds me of is that I need to be more human public needs to be more human in recognizing the issues that folks with disabilities face every day. Everything that Book Rehab has provided has been a part of what I've done, both professionally and personally. So uh, from helping me get computers so that I can work online, uh, to uh, from uh, wheelchairs that, that I've needed, to helping me with ramps, getting into places to work with, um, it's just been amazing and I can't thank rehab and everybody that supports VR, uh, not only with helping to employ people with any types of disabilities, but just to find people that, you know, even though I'm in a wheelchair and even though I'm a quadriplegic, I've still got a lot to contribute. And in fact, it's when I go to work, I'm not looking for me personally to see, okay, is there somebody that's hiring people with disabilities? I go in there and I say, are they hiring? Legoland has hired several people with hearing impairments. One individual who works in ground maintenance receives work direction through a wristwatch where the supervisor texts the messages, texts the instructions to the watch, and the employee feels the vibration and then reads the instructions. A highly effective accommodation and a true win-win solution for all involved. Lego Land Porters, as most of you may know, since we're right in your backyard, we're built for kids. So it's very important that when we hire our local citizens and our employees, that they accurately reflect the diversities and the background of our guests and of our community. And of course, it's not about me today, so I brought with me two wonderful star employees of ours, 
we have Robin Taylor and Andrew Phillips. Andrew is the gentleman that she was speaking about earlier that uses the watch. And then we also have Robin, and Robin is actually prepared to say a few things about the wonderful improvements that she's made to our educational program. We'd like to teach the guests uh, American Sign Language. And um, we teach them about computers, programming, anything you know, that would be anything that they would enjoy and they would have fun with. And every morning we arrive at work and we have a meeting, uh, you know, five minute meeting. And we always use sign language. Uh, you know, we, we teach sign language, like teach them basic words. Um, you know, we, uh, we just, you know, teach some basic words that we might be using throughout the day. And a lot of people really enjoy that. And uh, I love, you know, working with people at Legoland. It's really wonderful. So thank you very much. I really appreciate being here. I look at individuals who happen to have disabilities as diverse individuals. There are no two individuals with disabilities that are the same. Every person should be considered as an individual and treated as such when they come even for the interview so that they can have the same opportunity as everyone else. And that is my approach and I hope that from today I've just gained so much I'm just like overwhelmed a little bit. You know, I was over there and I was like, oh, I don't even have a tissue. <laughs> because I actually want to cry but with tears of joy to actually come out and learn more because when you know more, you do that. Owner Denise Black understands that accommodations can improve her employees' abilities to do their job and has provided hands-on training, extended time for learning work skills, and prompts to help employees be successful in their tasks. And Sarah loves her job. I went out recently and visited with them on site, and they were both so happy in the relationship. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And I'm going to take this to them, and I'm sure they're going to be so happy, happy about it as well. Thank you. Return on investment is what people with disabilities provide. Helping people with disabilities go to work not only helps them, but also our economy. Keep up the great work.